This is about accountability. You should resign. You should give back the money that you took while this scam was going on. And you should be criminally investigated by both the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Backlash against Wall Street this week. Elizabeth Warren going after Wells Fargo CEO John Stumpf. This was after the bank admitted to opening up millions of fake accounts without telling customers. The bank has fired 5,300 employees for the fraud, $185 million fine now, and federal prosecutors investigating criminal charges. That could land some executives in jail. Also this week, Milan Pharmaceuticals facing bipartisan fire. The company's CEO facing questions over a more than 400% price hike of a life-saving allergy treatment. The EpiPen. Now, could these fights turn into any kind of political passion on the race this year, on the race for president? We've got, of course, a billionaire and financial insider on one side and a Democrat who's often been criticized for her close ties to Wall Street. Now, Clinton, for her part, says she's disturbed by the Wells Fargo scandal and called for Mylon to voluntarily lower the price of those EpiPens. Critics, however, pointing to her ties to Wall Street and saying she's way too close to the people making these decisions. Now, Donald Trump opposes most federal regulation of the financial industry and has has not weighed in at all on these stories. So for more, we turn to Dennis Kelleher, who's president and CEO of Better Markets, a group that pushes for financial reform. What do you make of this issue? What did Wells Fargo do? What should be done to them? Well, it's pretty clear that there was a massive years-long uh, pattern of criminal conduct by thousands of employees at Wells Fargo and uh, we don't yet know uh, anywhere near the facts but what we do know is either the CEO and the senior executives didn't know for five years what thousands and thousands of its employees were doing ripping off its customers or they did know either way they need to go it sounds and, uh, Dennis you know, it sounds like a scandal it sounds like a conspiracy if you have that many people involved at basically customer and leadership levels of a bank doing something that is just plain old fraud. I mean, this isn't a fancy uh, toxic instrument, right? You're just, you're just saying they open up these fake accounts to get money, to take money they wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Well, you're right. There's, this is not gray. This is black and white. This is criminal fraudulent conduct. And the only question is, who knew what? And when did they know it? And that goes to the board of directors, the CEO, all the way down. And remember, you've got two chains of command in these banks. One is the operational chain of command, where people are putting pressure on salespeople, mid-level executives. The parallel chain of command is risk, legal, compliance, and audit. There's an entire breakdown across all of management, operation, legal, risk, and audit. And there needs to be a wholesale house cleaning there. And individuals have to be held accountable because that's the common denominator here, whether it's wrongdoing uh, in one place or misconduct, whether it's criminal conduct or whether it's civil misconduct, because you have not seen in 10 years almost an individual executive right. at a marquee bank being personally meaningfully punished. Right. So you look, this, Dennis, you look at this, Dennis, you look at this in the campaign. Donald Trump has said zero on this. We checked. Hillary Clinton said a little bit. Your view of both of the candidates on this. Well, actually, um, Hillary Clinton put out a very strong statement on uh, the illegal conduct at Wells Fargo, and uh, Trump uh, typically is just incredibly quiet. Uh, you know, if you look at the policies and what they have said on these candidates, uh, Wall Street had actually better be pretty concerned if Hillary Clinton becomes president. I think if Trump becomes president, in terms of enforcing the law on Wall Street, the champagne corks will be wow. popping. All right, a strong statement from someone who knows the issue, Dennis. Thank Thanks for joining us. I'm Ari Melberth. You've been watching MSNBC. Have a good weekend. Hardball is next.